Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe with a video on settings you can tweak to extend battery life on the Steam Deck in playing Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun. And to start, I'm going to be looking at in-game settings. I'm going to be looking at the overlay for the Steam OS within Steam and also going to be looking at the Power Tools plugin. So let me begin with looking at the in-game settings. We are going to select the hamburger button. We're going to go to options. We are going to go to video. And I am working with the 720p resolution. I'm keeping the game in full screen. I have V-Sync enabled. Now the frame rate cap, I do have it as 60. However, I'm going to target a lower frame rate through the SteamOS overlay and the other settings I am leaving at default. However, material quality I have at low. So with the in-game settings out of the way, let me go into the overlay and I just hit the ellipsis button here on the bottom right hand side. Let me go to the battery icon here and let's just start at the top. So I'm working with my Warhammer 40,000 bolt gun profile. And I have my performance overlay at maximum so you can see everything for in-game performance. I have the frame rate limit set at 40 and I have my refresh rate set at 40 as well. So looking to target between 30 and 40 frames in playing this game. And I have for my thermal design power or TDP, the limit for that, I have this at seven watts. The game plays very well at this. I find that if I decrease this to six or five, the game will start to struggle and I see stuttering occur. And those are the settings that I have for performance. Let's move down to the Deki plugin. I'm going to go to power tools. And let's start at the top here. I have disabled SMT, also known as simultaneous multi-threading. I have done this in an effort to take away power draw that may be necessary for instructions coming from multiple threads across the APU. Now, when I disable this, I go from eight threads to four threads as a result of that. So we are working with four threads on the CPU component of the APU, which is going to be our Zen 2. And you can actually see that on the other side here, you can see that we are working with zero, two, four, and six on the CPU. So let's go down here. Our frequency limits, we're going to enable this and we're going to set a minimum between 400, which is actually the default. And our maximum is going to be 2000 megahertz. Now the base clock for the Zen 2 is going to be 2.4. So this is below what is the base clock for the CPU component of the APU, the Zen 2. For our governor setting, we're going to look at the power save. This is not what is set as default, so you will need to select that and then go to power save. My default was set on schedule, schedule till. We'll go back to power save here. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to enable frequency limits for our GPU component of the APU. And I actually have this set for the minimum, the default is 400 megahertz. For the maximum, I have decreased this to 700 megahertz and the base clock for the GPU component of the APU is actually one gigahertz. So we are running this below the base clock. Now you may be wondering, did I enable down clock memory? Even though that is an effort to extend battery life and sit in enabling that setting, it did not work well for my instance in running this game. So I did not, I do not recommend enabling this setting. So those are the power settings that I have set. Everything else is set at default. So with that, we have that out of the way and we can look now at some gameplay. So let's take a look.
All right, and that is our video for Warhammer bolt gun on the Steam Deck and settings that you can tweak to extend battery life. I hope this video helps you on the go with playing this game as it is fun to play. Let me know in the comments if this video is helpful and if you would like to see more videos like these. This is the first video for the Gaming for Insight channel focused on the Steam Deck and playing games on the Steam Deck with extended battery life. So looking forward to reading your comments in the description. And with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.